It is 5.38 on day 15 for Survivor China. And this is going to be a day in the life, what it's like on an average day on Survivor. It starts a little earlier than I wish it did. Uh, but I get asked a lot of times to sort of describe the scene out on location, so this is it. There are so many perks to working on Survivor, and another one of them is free laundry service. The only thing is you have to make sure it's the right day. Today is Monday. It's your day if you work in the following department. Producers is me. That's my bag. So I can drop it off here, along with all the others. Come back in a couple of days, fresh clothes. Every day on Survivor starts with a good breakfast. We have an incredible kitchen staff that cooks several hundred meals several times a day. Ironically, I'm either very early or very late because I'm the only one here. 1194. Okay, 1194. Thank you. You got to have one of these to get in anywhere. That's mine. It gets me in Challenges, Tribal, and P Ponderosa, which is where the survivors go once they're voted out. Uh, all right, back to catering. We have a lot of food because we, we serve a lot of meals every day. And this season, we have food for our Chinese crew. And we also have a more traditional Western breakfast with eggs and bacon and sausage and all of that. All right, I'm going to pop in on the whiteboard meeting right now and see if I can get Dryden, our director, to tell us what it is. Hey, Dave, sorry to interrupt. We're doing a day in the life of Survivor. Explain really quickly what a whiteboard meeting is. Okay, a whiteboard meeting is when uh, our challenge producer, John Kiroffer, uh, exposes us to what he has planned and the art department have built. Then, as uh, challenge crew cameramen, we get together here. Uh, we basically lay it out like it's a football game. Uh, we assign positions for each of the cameras. We talk through the action, and then we usually we go out and rehearse it. Uh, having shot it once, we'll go back, view tape as a group, and then we'll come back and make uh, some fine-tuning modifications uh, for the actual shoot. Thanks, Dryden. No worries. Okay, because today's challenge takes place on the water, we're of course getting there by boat. Sam, hello. Hello. Take us to the challenge. Hold on. One of the best parts of the job, all the free boat rides. After a nice ride, we've arrived at the challenge location where people are uh, getting ready. All our crew is getting ready, starting to set up. Doing a little weed whacking so we have room uh, for the puzzle part of this. Out there is where the other part of the challenge will take place. A lot goes into getting the challenge set up. Obviously because the survivors will be here and this is an actual challenge and not a rehearsal, I can't show it to you. So I'll check in with you after the challenge. Well the challenge is over and I can tell you this, challenges are designed to stimulate reality and uh, Two of our producers will concur without saying anything that this challenge definitely stimulated some reality. By the time you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hope you enjoy it. We're heading back to base camp and another rehearsal. Challenge is over. We're back now for a quick meal. This is a little more what it's normally like. 1194. 1194. Okay, I read it down, sir. Shishi. <laughs> Everybody back eating. All right, we're now at an afternoon rehearsal for this challenge. This actually goes back to season one where the survivors are going to have to come into different rooms and look for various clues. There's all kinds of rooms that are going to be dummy rooms and some rooms are going to be the rooms that actually have a clue in them. So right now we're trying to figure out how we're going to light it. We've got our lighting guys here. We're going to figure out how many cameras we're going to need to shoot it and uh, how we're going to pull it off. Okay, we have a bit of a controversy at the rehearsal because one of the dream teamers has figured out what the answer to the puzzle is, so now she can't participate and she's very disgruntled, very disappointed. What happened? I figured it out and now they won't let me play. Yeah, that's what happens when you're too smart. <laughs> Being a dream teamer is not all fun and games. You're going to sit this one out, Lindsay. Sorry. All right, this rehearsal is over. We're now heading back to base camp. Take a quick shower, grab some grub, and then we go to tribal council and vote somebody out. Nice, long, full day. Right now it's about mm, 4 o'clock. Okay, it's time to get ready for tribal, and that means one very important decision. What color of blue shirt to wear? Yes, believe it or not, they hang these shirts. 
along with survivor hats to give me a choice. I'm going to go with this green right there. All right, it's about 6.30. We always like to shoot tribal council right at dusk. So we've got another 15 or 20 minutes before the survivors will get here. My favorite part of the show by far because no matter what the survivors say out on the beach, no matter what they say at challenges, the truth always comes out at tribal when they cast their votes. And uh, I just love being a part of that Q&A. So I'm gonna take the next 15 minutes, sit down and figure out what we're gonna talk about at tribal. And uh, I will catch you after tribal is over. That right there is a smoking torch, which means that tribal council is over. And that is the end of one long day that started at 5.30 this morning. Sorry I couldn't show you more details. That's why you have to watch the show. Hope you've enjoyed a day in the life on Survivor. Now it's time for me to go.